Hi everyone, Kyle Constant, Digital Services Librarian at Trails Regional Library, here for another electronic resource training. Today I'm going to be showing you a new resource that uh, the State Library has chosen to make available to all libraries in uh, throughout the state. But the new service is called Tumble Books. Um, let me go ahead and switch this over so you can see. This is what the homepage looks like. So when patrons click on a link from our site, they will be presented with this, and it should have our logo. Um, this is actually what they will see if they are in one of our libraries. I will show you real quick what it looks like from home. So they will have this intermediary page first, where they will have to put in their library card number. And put one in there. And when they click Submit or hit Enter, then it will validate that card, and then it will load the home page uh, like you saw before on the other screen. So anyway, the, the service works the same either remotely or from within within our libraries, but they do have that intermediary, intermediary page, excuse me, where they will have to put in their library card number. So what is TumbleBooks? TumbleBooks is essentially storybooks some chapter books, some nonfiction, and they're adding things like videos. But they are all supposed to be sort of multimedia um, read-along style stories. So they started off with just storybooks and over time have, have added additional types of materials on here. Um, they will feature materials in this slideshow up here at the top. There's tabs that you can go through to, to look at the different formats of, uh, of their materials. Then along the top, you have your basic navigation of uh, home, site index, favorites, uh, playlist, my cloud, help, and uh, contact us. So uh, home does exactly what you would expect. Index, you can see uh, an alphabetized index of everything that is available on their site, and it will tell you title, the author, the type of material it is, whether it's a storybook, whether it's a read-along. Uh, also, it will t tell you the accelerator reader number, if that's something that you're interested in. Favorites and playlist don't work super well uh, without an account, and that's where, <clears throat> excuse me, that's where MyCloud comes in. So with MyCloud, you can set up a, an account on TumbleBooks, and this is sort of independent from your library card number where you can save some favorites uh, if you have come on to the site and listened to a particular book and you or your child want to come back to it, then you can save it as a favorite. And when you come back, you log in and it will be saved. So I'm going to log in here really quick to an account that I already have created so you can see what that looks like. So it surfaces this as my cloud, but this is actually uh, these four books are my favorites. So whenever I click on favorites, um, these are these are here. Um, the way that you would save a favorite is if I just click on the cover of that title, Big Blue, I would come here and I have some different options here. You can see there's a short summary right there. There's some details over on the right sidebar about the book, how long it is, reading level, things like that. Then you also, uh, on the left, you have some different options about what you want to do. So of course, you just have the standard option of reading it online. You can add it to your favorites. You can add it to a playlist, or you can play a video. Um, the favorites and playlist are kind of what you would expect. Uh, you can click on that, and it says up here, it's been added to your playlist successfully. It's already in my favorites, so you've already seen kind of what that does. Reading it online, I'll show you really quickly. Uh, the player that TumbleBooks uses is a Flash-based player. So on computers, it's going to um, it's going to want to load in uh, in Flash, and you can't hear it right now, but it's it was playing a little intro as it loaded, and now it is reading through this. I have it, I actually have it muted, um, but you can see as it's going through this, the words that it's currently reading, it has, it has narration, 
and the words that it's currently reading are highlighted, so they'll always be a different color than the rest of the text. Um, some of the other controls, I think you just saw me click on the speaker over here that, that mutes it. Directly below that, you have auto or manual. If you switch it over to manual, then instead of automatically switching from page to page, it will, uh, I'll show you in just a second, it will uh, start flashing this button over here whenever it's finished with whatever page it's on and it's ready for you to turn uh, the page. You can always go forward or back with these buttons uh, on the, the right and left, but uh, manual just doesn't turn pages until you actually manually do it. Um, pause is just kind of what you would expect it to be. It's pause. Help, uh, if I, it, currently it's turned off. If I click on it, it will pop up some uh, information about things. Maybe this doesn't have a whole lot of different pages because it hasn't prompted me to, to change it. Oh, there we go. Just as I'm talking about. So you can see that flashing there. Um, so now it's ready to, to switch to a different different page. So <clears throat> in automatic mode, like I said, it, as that narration and the animation is all playing, like that's all considered the same page. But in auto mode, it would automatically go from one to the next. Um, and then total, if you saw earlier, I'm actually just going to go ahead and close this one. Um, you can see over here on the on the right, in automatic mode, it's going to last about 11 minutes. So you have a, a decent idea what you're getting into whenever you start any of these materials. The play video is they have just kind of cross-referenced their, uh, their read-along titles with some of their video content that they've added. So they're tying together things that are of similar subject matter. So for instance, you click on play video and it takes you over to a critter cam uh, video about blue whales. These are almost entirely, um, sorry, that just got really loud for me. I don't know if it'll show up in the, in the final video, but I had to pause that. That was a little distracting. So most of these are National Geographic content. So they're, they're pretty good. They vary pretty widely um, in length. So this one's around 23 and a half minutes long. The one I just watched a little bit ago was about two minutes. So it's pretty pretty different from, from one to the next. And you can get to that, as I just did, by just clicking the, the Videos tab. Um, so to back up, let's go back home. So again, this is kind of where we started. They do have some different lists here that you can choose from. They have featured books. They can show you, or they also surface new materials. Anything that they've recently added will go in here. And then they also have playlists that they've created that are for different either subject matters or um, different types of interest. Read-alongs are different. These are actually um, more chapter book uh, type material. So when you click on one of these, you have some similar options here, and you'll have recommended reading down here. But when you actually click to read it, um, you're presented with with a chapter book. And so you have different controls. You have the play button down here, so the narrator will start reading. You can see currently highlighted is chapter one, and as it reads, it will highlight the text as it goes. You can immediately go to different chapters by clicking on chapter menu. You can put in bookmarks. Those will be saved to your, uh, your MyCloud account. So if you set a bookmark in a couple of different books, uh, at least what I've seen is it has worked for me uh, to come back to those books and click go to bookmark and there will be a bookmark there that will immediately go to wherever you left off last time. Um, there are some text options as well. You can increase text sizes, you can increase text spacing, you can even change the font. You can um, change the colors. You can also make notes. Um, well, I suppose add this to the list of things that, it, that isn't working all that well. I was reading a book earlier or doing a read-along book earlier that was a book about dimples. And so these are notes that I made about uh, this book on dimples. And it's loading those up 
in this chapter in a Nancy Drew book. So uh, again, add this to the list of things that um, I personally don't think uh, Tumble Books does particularly well. So I'm kind of curious. If I go to chapter three and look at my notes, yep, there it is, because I wrote chapter three in that note to make sure that that looked different from my note chapter one, and there it is. So totally different book, and they loaded those notes in with this one. So, um, but just to show you kind of what this looks like, you can see as it reads through the book, it's highlighting the different text um, as it is, it is reading those lines. So you can click pause if you, um, if you need assistance with things like that. Again, <clears throat> there's always the help menu. Um, and that's, that's pretty much what read-alongs are like. Um, the nonfiction mostly are your read-along style, um, or excuse me, your story, storybook style um, picture books. So they're going to load up in this player that I showed you earlier. They're not going to be your chapter books. They're going to be, but they're just, they just differentiate. These are nonfiction versus the, the fiction storybooks. I showed you before videos. Um, this is where all of those are listed. Um, language learning, again, I, the service, apparently patrons really like this service. I, I hate to be uh, uh, downplaying some of this stuff, but um, I, think, I think they're stretching by calling these language learning. They, they basically have foreign language text uh, for these books. They're not particularly teaching you these languages, at least not from what I've seen. It just has the text maybe in multiple languages. So you've got this book, Bad for Them, Good for Me, um, which sounds like a terrible title, um, but it's, it is in different languages, and you can go through it in English, or you can have them read through it in Spanish or French. Um, but again, it doesn't seem to me like that really is language learning. That is having someone read through something in a foreign language to you. So if you're already learning a different language, this would be an interesting maybe support material for that endeavor, but you're not really learning it through these books. Puzzles and games. A lot of these puzzles and games pertain to specific books, so you can see the covers on these puzzles and uh, word catch a lot of them again they're all going to um, they're all going to refer back to a given uh, book so this one is about boy soup so um, this one just says use the arrow keys to move the tumble guy left and right two words will fall side by side. One is spelled correctly, one isn't. Catch the one. I don't know why I'm reading this to you. You, you guys all know how to read. Uh, but you can start this game and have him catch the one that is um, spelled properly. So in theory, all of these words are in this book, Boy Soup. Some of them are just simple puzzles. Some of them are word finds. And then like you saw that one, it is a word catch game. Playlists. This is the, the last feature that I, I wanted to show you all. They have their own playlists that they've created that are called things like under 10 minutes, 20 to 30, or excuse me, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and so on. And then they have things like bilingual playlists, which will take one of these books, read it to you in one language, and then read it to you in another language. Um, then they have things like early reader, story time, just for fun, nonfiction, and then tumble TV. Um, I actually have not had good luck getting any of these playlists to actually work. I'll show you. It loads up a different, uh, a different um, interface. So you have what's called the Tumblebook Player, and it says your playlist. So you've got these two books, or rather two versions of the same book, in, in, it's just in different languages. 
So this guy, this little guy here tells you that you can start with either one of these by just clicking the play button, or you can just click play, and maybe it will make a liar out of me, but every time I've tried this, and it looks like it's starting, actually. <laughs> of course it is. Um, every time I have tried this before, it hasn't worked. Maybe I'll try. Wow, okay. So apparently all I had to do was start recording myself saying it wasn't going to work in order for it to work. Um, we'll try one of these others and see. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So if you just click on play for the tumble player, it just seems to not load that first book. So maybe the secret, as I'm learning here along with you all, Maybe the secret is to click play next to the book. Mm, no, it's not working. Let's try like this and no. So, so you can see I'm not crazy. Um, it doesn't seem to work very well. I have emailed them about it. I have not received any response. So I'm not sure what the plan is as far as fixing it. Um, you can save a playlist. So I've saved all of these books down here in a, in a playlist. You can remove them, you can, or you can remove all, you can try to remove them individually. Um, again, I, uh, I have to be honest, I have tried this and I have not had a lot of luck with either removing them or coming in here and clicking Tumblebook Player and having much of this stuff load. Um, so there you go. There is nothing in my playlist, even though there were several titles listed below there. Um, so it just seemed buggy, um, and inconsistent at best. So maybe, maybe there's a right way to do this, but as you can see, I'm, I'm trying different methods here. And my playlist just continues to not, not load. The good news is if you want to watch them individually, that seems to work pretty consistently. But if you actually want to create a playlist, um, then it, that's, that's more problematic. You, probably the better way to do it would be to create some sort of a favorites list and then just open them individually and, and start them playing. So... So that's tumble books. Um, like I said, I, I have my issues with it. I think there are definitely some materials on here that are of value and that kids will probably like, but um, the player seems a little clunky and the playlists don't work all the time. So <clears throat> um, I, I think from everything that I've heard from other libraries is that, uh, that other, that patrons really like it. So I would encourage you to share it with people and I'll send out some promotional materials for you to share. That is Tumble Books and thank you for watching. And I hope that uh, your patrons enjoy the service.